Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be exploring the tables feature in Google Sheets to instantly upgrade your spreadsheets, making them look even better, more powerful, more organized, and more professional. Let's get started. First, click any cell in your data range. And then you can either go to the format menu and select convert to table. Alternatively, we can select the convert to table button on the right hand side here. So let's click that now. And now we have a nicely formatted table. Right away, you can see this is different. Google Sheets is smart enough to find the edges of our data. It also recognizes that our table has a header row, which has been frozen. So if we scroll down, the header row remains at the top for us. We also have filter controls on every column. So if I select the arrow to the right of a column, I can actually filter this column by the data types here and press OK. The real power of tables comes from its structure. Every column now has a specific data type. So you can see for the assignee column, these email addresses have been converted to the people smart chip in Google Sheets. For the priority and status columns, Sheets has automatically converted these to drop down lists for us. And these have been populated using all the values we already had in our sheet. Let's check the date column. As we can see, this has been correctly set to a date type. And if I was to enter some other text here, you can see I have an error indicating I've entered invalid data type into there. The approved column has also been changed into a drop down list, but I can easily change this if I select this column. And I'd actually prefer this to be a tick box. So let's go into the insert menu, select tick box, and now that's converted into a tip box for us. The other nice thing about tables is we can quickly change the formatting as well. So if I click into here, firstly, let's give our table a name. I'm gonna call this project tracker. And now if I click on the down arrow next to this, I've got some additional options. I can adjust the range. I can change the color. So let's choose a different heading color. Let's go for blue. And I can also change the table formatting. Tables automatically have alternating colors, which is really nice for making our data easier to read. Additionally, I can also turn on grid lines. I can show a condensed view. And I can also add a table footer as well. And we also have some more advanced options. So if we go back to table formatting, select view advanced options, I can customize my color scheme even further. And another thing I just wanted to highlight quickly is now we have a footer row. This becomes a really useful analysis tool. As you can see here, it's automatically added a sum formula for us, totaling the sum hours we've logged. One of my other favorite features of tables is the group feature. So let's group this by the project column to do this. Let's click into here, into views, and select create group view, and then select our project column. So now I just get a little pop-up letting me know that this view is temporary and only I can see this view. It's not going to affect anyone else's view of this data. But now we've grouped this, all of our tasks are now neatly organized by project. Aggregations have been added here as well. For instance, we can see how many tasks are in each project. And this is a real game changer for project management and data analysis right inside your spreadsheet. So we've looked at converting existing data into a table. What if I wanted to create a table from new? Let's make a new sheet and then select the insert menu and select pre-built tables. The tables sidebar then appears and we've got lots of example tables to help get us started. Everything from project tracking, event planning, customer relations, travel planners, inventory management, and many more. And what's more, if you have Google Workspace with a Google AI Pro Gemini license, you will also have access to this feature, help me create a table. We can then just describe to Gemini what type of table we want to create and Google's AI will do the rest for us. So let's ask Gemini to create a table that will help us plan a school trip to a museum. And hit enter. And let's see what Gemini comes up with. And here we go, Gemini has made a table for us. So let's select insert. And as you can see here, it's added tasks we should be thinking about for our school trip. Who's responsible for due dates, status and notes. So let's just recap the benefits of using the new tables feature. 
You get structured data with specific column types to prevent errors, easy customization for a professional look, an automated footer row for instant calculations, and powerful grouping and views to analyze data in seconds. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe for more tips. Thanks for watching.